All right, this is a quick video just to go over this assignment, the trace a logo or an icon with the pen tool. And so what you have is you have four uh, options down here. You only need to do one of them, or you can pull off one of your own from the internet, one that you're interested in doing. Uh, just make sure that it has curves and it has corners on it as well. So we're just gonna go through every single one of them and do it in under 15 minutes. So we're gonna give that as a little bit of a challenge. So just go ahead and click on the link right click copy image Let's see file new eight and a half by eleven is fine and then command v just to paste that and now you have it in there and like i said you just uh press the lock button over here and make a new layer now you can't move that around so we're going to zoom in close to that just with the zoom tool grab the pen tool and let's get started. So I'll just start off with this leaf. Just go ahead and click there. And we're just going to grab that and pull the curve. Hold down the Alt key, angle it down, fill that in. Now it's filled in with white, so just come over here to the selection tool, go to this back fill. And just select like a red color. It doesn't really matter what kind of color it is. So there's one part done. Grab the pen tool again. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to switch these over so that we're going to have a red stroke and it's not going to be filled with anything. Again, just start right there. Put a point and just go ahead and trace it. Some of these points you can even do in a little bit different spots and it's not going to hurt it too much. Just make sure that the curve looks about where you want it to be. Let's come down a little bit. And just keep on going through. This one's not too hard so far because it's just a bunch of curves. Let's move that. And here we are near the end. Hold down the Alt key, and then you can pull that over. And that is pretty much it. Come back over here to the selection tool, and you can switch those colors as long as that's selected, and just swap that. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, you got two different shapes. If you hide that, it looks pretty much like the Apple logo. People would be able to recognize it. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. All right, so let's go on to the second one. Just make a new one. Let's go into our Canvas account, the handicap icon. Okay, just copy that image. Come in here. You're going to paste it. Lock that down. Make a new layer. Make sure you're on that layer and zoom in. Okay, and this one, I'm not gonna worry about doing this blue square, I'm just gonna do this white square stuff, or the, the white image. So I'll just go ahead, click an image. This one's not too hard, holding down the, the shift will keep it straight. And let's come in here and switch that color. Let's make it green. And what we're going to do is, okay, come on. We're going to make that stroke a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, let's go back to the pen tool. Hover over it till you get that little slash sign and click. So now you're just continuing on that same, uh, that same line. Just make a couple clicks. This one isn't too difficult because it's just so straight in most places. I'll move that. Let's get that angle that we want. All right, there's that first one. Just go ahead and click off, click the pen tool again. 
and let's do this little circle. Circles are a little bit harder, and sometimes it's easier just to go and grab the actual circle shape. But we're not going to do that in this video. Then go ahead and click that anchor point to end it. Get that straight line. All right, that looks good enough. That looks good enough. Oops. Didn't mean to double click that. And then just end that. Okay. Go ahead and switch that over. Grab this one. Switch it over. And if you don't look at that, and you got a pretty good handicap looking logo. So that one wasn't too hard either. Now let's come in here, file new. Come down here. And uh, let's see. Let's grab this Twitter logo. Copy image. Paste the image in there. Let me make that a little bit bigger. All right, lock that down. New layer. Grab the pen tool and zoom in pretty close to it. Okay, as usual, I just like to start on corners. So we'll just start up here, pull it down there. Oh, this already put it back to the default. Gonna switch that, gonna make you red. Okay. Oops, that's not what we want. Click that anchor, pull it down at the curve, click that anchor again. All right, not too bad so far. And with these, a lot of the times, it's just easier to, um, it's easier just to make as little amount of lines as possible. That way you get a little bit more of a smooth transition and uh, you can kind of tell when you start using a lot of a lot of points that it's just not as smooth as you want it to be. Just make the least amount of points as possible. All right, almost done with this logo. You know, we're just going to have to fix that later. All right, just come in here to the direct selection tool. I think this one was actually a little bit too far forward. We can grab this individual handle and just kind of pull it back. And we can call that good. We will switch that over, unhide that. There you got the Twitter logo. Easy enough. Gonna go to File, New, uh, should be good. And let's see, you're gonna come over here to Safari. Finally, this dog icon. This one might take a little bit longer than some of the other ones, but not too bad. Let's see, Copy Image. Pull down here to Illustrator. And I'll just do Command V, paste it in there, okay? Same as before, make a new layer. Let's grab the pen tool. And before we start any of this, let's get the stroke the color that we want it to be. Good enough. Let's make you two. All right, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit closer on this one. Grab the pen tool, start at a point. And just Come in here and do these little curves. Moving that with the space bar again. Use the hand tool and you can uh, move the artboard around. Let's see, get that looking right. All right, that looks good. So I think right now I'm around 10 minutes or a little bit less. So you can tell that it really doesn't take too long to do one of these when you know what you're doing. I only expect you to do one logo in 15 minutes.
So shouldn't be too difficult. Get that curve. Gonna hit that to make it only one anchor. Let's see, where's the best place for this anchor? There we go, that looks pretty good. Not too bad. Okay, and this is kind of a weird little area right there. That should be good enough for the for the homework. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but it needs to look decent. So hit that. Come on over there. Using the spacebar to move that around. And just about done. All right, there you have it. Just switch the, uh, those two, make it filled with green. And it's not absolutely perfect, but it's pretty, pretty close and it's definitely good enough for this assignment. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to look really close. And uh, the only thing that really looks off right here is this part. And if you wanted to, you can even come in here close grab the direct selection tool and figure out what was making that look so weird. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that you need to do for this assignment. Uh, just pick one and do that one. Make sure that you upload the raster image as well as the vector image.